Welcome to Hollywood Inside 1960s. Get ready for a jaw-dropping look at 20 celebrities who have completely transformed their appearance, and not for the better. You won't believe how some of the biggest stars in Hollywood have changed so drastically that you'd walk past them on the street without a second glance. From shocking plastic surgery fails to aging gone wrong, these transformations will leave you speechless. Think you can still recognize them? Let's find out. Number 20, Melanie Griffith, born in 1957, is a renowned American actress who made a significant mark in cinema with films like Working Girl, 1988, a role that earned her a Golden Globe. She also appeared in other notable movies such as Body Double, 1984, and Something Wild, 1986. With a career spanning several decades, Melanie has made considerable contributions to Hollywood. In her youth, Melanie Griffith was celebrated for her alluring beauty, characterized by her slim figure and striking blue eyes. Her image was consistently associated with charm and sophistication. However, over time, excessive use of cosmetic surgery has led to significant changes in her appearance. Reports suggest that overuse of Botox and other surgical procedures has resulted in an unnaturally altered face, diminishing her once youthful beauty. The consequences of these cosmetic surgeries have made Melanie Griffith the center of unwanted attention. Her public image has faded, leaving many to mourn the loss of her natural beauty and somewhat overshadowing her artistic contributions. Number 19, Jocelyn Wildenstein, born in 1940 in Switzerland, was once a prominent figure in New York's high society. Although she did not directly contribute to film or art, she gained fame through her marriage to billionaire art dealer Alec Wildenstein and particularly as the so-called queen of plastic surgery. In her youth, Jocelyn possessed an elegant and sophisticated beauty with a well-balanced and captivating face. However, after starting a tumultuous marriage, she increasingly abused cosmetic surgery. Her initial goal was to retain her husband and upgrade her appearance, but the continuous surgeries transformed her looks completely, resulting in unnatural features. The consequences of this excessive surgery turned Jocelyn Wildenstein into a negative icon, with a distorted and bizarre appearance. Her appearance became a subject of media speculation, and her image suffered significantly. Often compared to Catwoman, due to her feline-like features, she stands as a living example of how the misuse of cosmetic surgery can severely impact natural beauty. Number 18, Mickey Rourke, an American film star, was once considered a symbol of beauty and talent in Hollywood during the 1980s. He became a standout with iconic roles in movies like Nine and a Half Weeks and Angel Heart delivering a captivating mix of charm and toughness. With his strikingly handsome features and rebellious style, Rourke captured the hearts of millions worldwide, however, in the 1990s, Rourke made the surprising decision to step away from acting to pursue a career in boxing. During his time in the ring, he suffered multiple severe injuries, especially to his face. These injuries led to a series of reconstructive surgeries, but unfortunately, the results didn't turn out as expected. His once handsome face became unrecognizable, and the surgeries significantly altered his appearance. As Rourke aged, his drastically changed looks, compounded by his tumultuous lifestyle, overshadowed the heartthrob image he had once held in the public's eye. Despite this, Rourke remained dedicated to his craft, with a career resurgence in The Wrestler, 2008, a performance that earned him widespread critical acclaim. Number 17, Pamela Anderson, the former actress celebrated for her alluring charm, once captivated audiences globally as the iconic star of Baywatch. However, the years have brought a noticeable transformation to her appearance and public image. Anderson, who was once admired for her stunning beauty and charisma, now faces scrutiny over the effects of her extravagant lifestyle on her once perfect looks. 
Despite earning around $1.3 million per season from Baywatch, she appears to have fallen victim to the excesses associated with fame and wealth. The glamorous aura that once defined Anderson has faded, leading to reflections on the costs of living a life marked by indulgence and excess. As she deals with the challenges of aging under the public eye, Anderson's story highlights the fleeting nature of beauty and the risks of unchecked luxury. I absolutely adore Pamela Anderson's captivating beauty and feel nostalgic for her flawless presence. Do you love her too? Drop a comment below if you agree. Number 16, once a dominant force on Hollywood's silver screen, Nick Nolte's legacy now reflects the enigmatic allure of a character Jack Nicholson might have embodied in the vibrant cinema of the 1980s. Nolte's presence was as striking as the Hollywood Hills at dusk, his performances embedding themselves in the collective memory of moviegoers worldwide. Yet, as time relentlessly moves forward, the features of Nolte's face have transformed, casting shadows akin to a melancholic symphony. His visage, weathered by life's journey, tells a story of navigating the complexities of existence. Where youthful sparkle once resided, there now lies a profound depth, shaped by the weight of experience. This very evolution makes Nolte a portrait of genuine authenticity, a testament to the raw, unfiltered essence of humanity. Number 15, Janet Jackson, who once dazzled audiences in the 1980s with her energetic performances and youthful allure, has experienced significant changes in her appearance over the years. Although she captivated fans with her talent and slim figure back in the day, recent transformations have made her look quite different. Notably, her weight gain has led to a more swollen appearance, altering her once familiar features. The sleek and radiant persona she was known for has been replaced by a look that reflects the natural aging process and the pressures of public life. Currently, Jackson is married to a Saudi billionaire and lives in Saudi Arabia, marking a shift from her former life in the limelight. Her changing appearance has drawn attention, highlighting the struggles that come with fame and the relentless scrutiny faced by public figures. Number 14, Axl Rose, once hailed as one of rock's most iconic vocalists, possessed a raw and captivating voice that resonated with fans across the globe. His high-energy performances and magnetic charisma made him a sensation, especially among women who adored his presence on stage. As the frontman of Guns N' Roses, Rose achieved massive fame, and he continues to tour and perform to this day. However, over the years, his physical appearance has notably transformed, largely due to significant weight gain. Despite these changes, Rose remains an active figure in the music world, generating millions through his work. His albums alone brought in over $2.5 million recently, proving his ongoing success. While his musical prowess remains undeniable, Rose's transformation highlights the importance of prioritizing health and wellness, no matter one's professional accomplishments. Number 13, Linda Evangelista, the acclaimed Canadian model famous for gracing over 700 magazine covers, recently faced an unforeseen challenge following a cosmetic procedure. Despite her enduring allure, Linda's appearance underwent significant changes due to an adverse reaction from a cosmetic treatment. Enticed by advertisements promising non-surgical fat reduction, she chose cool sculpting to target persistent problem areas. Linda, known for her vanity, underwent seven sessions between 2015 and 2016. 
Instead of achieving a slimmer look, she began developing bulges in areas like her bra line, chin, and thighs, which grew hard and numb. After medical consultation, Linda was diagnosed with paradoxical adipose hyperplasia, a rare condition affecting less than 1% of cool sculpting patients. This unfortunate development led to a dramatic alteration in her once celebrated appearance. Number 12, Simon Cowell, widely recognized for his blunt critiques on the X Factor and Got Talent, has recently been in the spotlight for a different reason, his striking physical transformation. Speculation abounded about whether Simon had undergone cosmetic procedures, and in 2023, he addressed the rumors, acknowledging that he may have gone a bit overboard in his quest to look younger. The results, however, were more surprising than flattering, even catching his son Eric off guard wondering what had happened to his father's face. Undeterred by the less-than-ideal outcome, Simon decided to take control, scaling back on fillers and adopting a more natural, refined look. Gone were the drastic changes, replaced by a focus on skincare, facials, and a healthier lifestyle. These days, Simon is all about staying hydrated and prioritizing inner wellness, embracing a less is more philosophy and laughing off the comparisons to movie characters with extreme makeovers. Number 11, Anastasia Pokreshchik, hailing from Kiev, Ukraine, embarked on a bold cosmetic transformation journey that makes your average beauty procedure look like a simple touch-up. Her extensive list of enhancements includes veneers, chin and jaw reshaping, liposuction, and more, a full-scale makeover. What sets her apart is her unique approach, she began her cosmetic journey at 26 and took a DIY route, becoming her own expert in injections. She learned sterilization techniques and more from YouTube, applying her newfound skills with precision. Thanks to her dedication to self-administered procedures, Anastasia now sports cheeks so prominent they could have their own zip code and is even vying for the title of the world's most noticeable cheeks. Number 10, Katie Price began her career with a more natural appearance and only turned to cosmetic procedures after her 30th birthday. Now, at age 45, she is unapologetic about the transformations she has undergone. Her journey into plastic surgery started in 1999 with a breast augmentation and rhinoplasty. Over the years, her enhancements became more noticeable, and by 2011, she had fully embraced the world of cosmetic surgery. From plumper lips to a more refined facial appearance, her look continued to evolve. However, her numerous procedures, especially her annual breast augmentations, each with implants weighing roughly 4.4 pounds, raised concerns regarding her health and well-being. Despite the criticism and health risks, Katie remains open about her choices and confident in her personal decisions. Number 9, Richard Dean Anderson became a household name through his iconic portrayal of MacGyver, the inventive hero who could turn everyday items into life-saving tools. His quick thinking and creative problem-solving skills made him a symbol of resourcefulness in the 1980s, captivating viewers week after week. Anderson's charm and screen presence made MacGyver unforgettable, but his impact went beyond acting, he also took on the role of executive producer, showing his dedication and versatility in the entertainment industry. Later, he found success again with Stargate SG-1, where he portrayed Colonel Jack O'Neill, further proving his ability to lead and engage audiences. Despite stepping back from the limelight in recent years, Anderson's contributions to television have left an enduring legacy.
Number 8. Unraveling Donatella Versace's secrets to maintaining her youthful glow is akin to piecing together a puzzle with missing pieces. While she's been tight-lipped about her regimen, her visage speaks volumes. Take her nose, for instance, it's gone from petite to prominent. Her eyelids are firmer, and her cheeks and lips have a plushness reminiscent of marshmallows in a microwave. Remember her radiant appearance in 2014? Rumor has it that intensive Botox treatments were behind her flawlessly smooth forehead. Though her dazzling allure and creative prowess have earned her a special place in the fashion world, her recent transformation has piqued public curiosity. Once celebrated for her sleek physique and captivating presence, she now shows a noticeably different silhouette, with her figure and facial features attracting attention and speculation. Despite her achievements in fashion, it's these cosmetic enhancements that seem to capture the spotlight. Number 7, Cardi B has openly discussed rumors about her cosmetic procedures, even highlighting concerns about some of her surgeon's questionable history. This sparked interest, with Cardi navigating these rumors in her usual outspoken manner. Known for her bold personality and resilience, she's never shied away from speaking her mind, becoming a cultural force not just through music but her candidness on personal matters. From her rise in the rap scene to her ongoing transformation, Cardi's journey with cosmetic surgery, including enhancements like breast augmentations, has been a focal point of media attention. Despite facing criticism, she remains unapologetic and embraces her choices. Number 6, Val Kilmer's charisma and exceptional talent earned him a cherished spot in the entertainment world. Yet, recent years have brought noticeable changes to his appearance that have piqued public curiosity and discussion. Once celebrated for his athletic build and captivating smile, Kilmer now shows a considerably altered look. His previously lean physique has become more robust, with his midsection drawing attention and sparking speculation, particularly during casual outings and beach scenes. Despite his previous images reflecting a more natural state, recent photos show tighter skin, suggesting he may have undergone various cosmetic procedures such as facelifts, Botox, collagen injections, and possibly cheek implants. Although Kilmer achieved significant fame in the 1980s for his role in Top Gun, where his magnetic presence left a lasting impression, it's his evolving appearance and possible cosmetic enhancements that have recently captured the spotlight. Number 5, Pixie Fox, despite facing persistent rejections from medical professionals who refuse to conduct additional surgeries, remains determined to achieve her goal of becoming a living cartoon character. Originally from North Carolina and now aged 34, Pixie has gained significant attention for her numerous and dramatic cosmetic procedures. Notably, she has appeared on the shows of renowned surgeons Terry Dubro and Paul Nassif, who have both declined to continue their involvement in her unique transformation journey. Nevertheless, Pixie remains unwavering in her vision. She has recently shown interest in undergoing a public eyelash transplant and a procedure to alter her genital area, which she refers to as creating a baby flower. Number 4, in his early Hollywood years, Macaulay Culkin captured the hearts of audiences with his blend of youthful innocence and charm. His memorable performances in iconic movies like Home Alone and Uncle Buck showcased his natural talent and charisma, highlighted by his distinctive blue eyes. As he has grown, Culkin's journey has not been without its hurdles, but his enduring spirit and resilience continued to shine. His evolution from a beloved child star to a mature individual stands as a testament to personal growth and perseverance. 
Culkin's story serves as a powerful reminder that transformation and overcoming challenges are essential aspects of the human experience. Through it all, he remains a symbol of unwavering strength and a beacon of hope for many. Number 3, Jessica Alves, previously known as Rodrigo Alves, is a prominent television figure renowned for her significant cosmetic transformations. Born on July 30, 1983, in Sao Paulo, Brazil, Jessica comes from a mixed background with a Brazilian mother and a British father, Rosivaldo Alves. From an early age, Jessica felt a strong connection to femininity, expressing herself through playing with Barbie dolls and cross-dressing, despite being assigned male at birth. She is passionate about advocating for acceptance and understanding of diverse gender identities. Through her journey, Jessica has embraced her true self and continues to champion the importance of gender inclusivity and recognition. Number 2, Priscilla Presley is not only famous for her relationship with Elvis Presley but also for her achievements in the business world. However, rumors about her possibly having undergone plastic surgery continue to circulate, though there has been no official confirmation from her medical team. Many experts have weighed in based on her public appearances. Dr. Ryan Neinstein, of Neinstein Plastic Surgery in New York, commented that her cheeks appear to have been overfilled, which may have altered the natural openness of her eyes while Dr. David M. Amron speculated she might have had a facelift. Other experts suggest that she may have undergone aggressive skin treatments that could have caused irreversible damage. Furthermore, it's been reported that Priscilla may have been involved with an unlicensed cosmetic practitioner, Dr. Daniel Serrano, who was accused of using industrial-grade silicone, a method posing serious health risks. Despite these rumors, Priscilla largely keeps her personal matters private, often emphasizing her desire to maintain certain aspects of her life out of the public eye. Number 1, Michael Jackson was reportedly so anxious about undergoing his first rhinoplasty that he asked his sister, Latoya, to try it out first. After being pleased with her results, he had his own surgery in 1979, which began his physical transformation. Over time, experts believe he had as many as 100 cosmetic procedures. These reportedly included nose reshaping, cheekbone enhancements, eyelid modifications, and chin augmentation. Dr. Wallace Goodstein, who worked alongside Jackson's surgeon in the 90s, shared that Jackson often underwent surgery every couple of months. On some occasions, he even had several procedures done at once, sometimes up to a dozen at a time. Jackson's changing appearance sparked widespread speculation, contributing to his public image and the ongoing mystery surrounding his personal life. Though much has been discussed about his surgeries, Jackson remained quiet about the exact number of procedures, only admitting to a few. Diane Keaton, born Diane Hall on January 5, 1946, in Los Angeles, California, is one of the most renowned and beautiful actresses of the 1970s. She began her acting career with a role in the musical, Hair, in 1968. However, Diane Keaton truly rose to fame with her performance in Francis Ford Coppola's film, The Godfather, 1972, where she played Kay Adams, Michael Corleone's wife. Keaton's career skyrocketed in the 1970s as she collaborated with director Woody Allen on a series of acclaimed films including, Play It Again, Sam, Sleeper, and notably, Annie Hall, 1977, which earned her the Oscar for Best Actress. 
With her natural acting style and unique fashion sense, Diane Keaton quickly became a Hollywood icon, in the 1980s and beyond. Keaton continued to thrive with diverse roles in films such as, Reds, 1981, and, The First Wives Club, 1996. She also ventured into directing and producing, showcasing her versatile talent in the film industry. Today, Diane Keaton continues to maintain her charm and distinctive style, serving as a fashion icon and inspiration for many younger generations of actors. Lindsay Wagner, born on June 22, 1949, in Los Angeles, California, first drew attention with her role as Jamie Summers in the television series, The Bionic Woman. With her natural beauty and excellent acting skills, Lindsay quickly became an icon of American television, the 1970s marked the peak of Lindsay Wagner's career. She not only made a significant impact with her famous role but also received numerous prestigious awards, including an Emmy in 1977 for her portrayal of Jamie Summers. Her youthful, vibrant beauty and confident style captivated millions of viewers worldwide. Over time, Lindsay Wagner has undergone many transformations, both in appearance and career. From being a beauty icon of the 1970s, she evolved into a seasoned actress and social activist. Today, Lindsay continues to maintain her graceful and charming presence while engaging in charitable activities and sharing her knowledge about health and well-being through workshops and books. Lindsay Wagner remains a testament to timeless beauty and is a symbol of perseverance and compassion, enchanting audiences across generations. Anouk Aimé, born Françoise Soria Dreyfus on April 27, 1932, in Paris, France, is one of the most renowned actresses of the 1970s. She began her film career at a young age, gaining fame for her refined beauty, delicate features, and emotionally expressive acting style. Throughout the 1970s, Anouk Aimé appeared in many notable films, with her role in Un Homme et une Femme, 1966, being particularly significant. This film earned her prestigious awards at the Cannes Film Festival, establishing her as an international star and securing her place in global cinema. Amy's beauty and talent in her roles made her an icon of French cinema. As she aged, Anouk Amy's hair grayed and her face showed light wrinkles, but she maintained her elegance and allure, with sharp eyes and a multidimensional expressiveness. She adapted to roles suited to her age and continued to achieve success. Amy has proven that, Despite the passage of time, true talent and beauty always shine through. She remains a celebrated and admired figure in French cinema, honored by generations of audiences. Linda Evans, born on November 18, 1942, is one of the most beautiful actresses of the 1970s. With her standout role in the television series, Dynasty, she became an icon of beauty and style during that era. In her youth, Linda Evans was known for her lustrous blonde hair and charming, delicate beauty. Her sharp facial features and radiant smile captivated the hearts of many viewers. Over time, Linda Evans has undergone many changes in appearance. Although the signs of aging are inevitable, she has maintained a fresh and vibrant look. With her naturally silver hair, she often opts for a short and simple hairstyle, favoring simplicity and elegance in her wardrobe, which helps her retain a graceful and refined style while also showcasing the mature beauty that comes with age. Even in her 80s, Linda Evans often appears with a warm smile and a confident demeanor, reflecting success and contentment in her personal life. In recent years, she has stepped away from the spotlight but still makes appearances at public events and charity activities, consistently drawing attention with her enduring beauty and charm.
Catherine Deneuve, one of the most iconic figures of French cinema, was born on October 22, 1943, in Paris. She gained fame in the 1960s with her role in Les Parapluies de Cherbourg, and continued to shine throughout the 1970s with films such as Belle du Jour and Tristana. With her classic beauty and elegant style, Deneuve was not only beloved by audiences but also served as an inspiration for many top fashion designers, however, Catherine Deneuve's life has not always been smooth. She faced personal and professional challenges, including a divorce from the renowned photographer David Bailey in 1981, which significantly affected her morale and led to a relapse into smoking. Additionally, Deneuve has publicly criticized the film industry for its injustices and gender inequalities, particularly the lack of opportunities for women. Despite these difficulties, Catherine Deneuve has shown remarkable resilience and continued to contribute to the arts. With over 60 years in the industry, she has demonstrated extraordinary talent and determination, becoming one of the greatest actresses in world cinema. Ellen Burstyn, born Edna Ray Gillilly on December 7, 1932, in Detroit, Michigan, is one of the most prominent and beautiful actresses of the 1970s. She began her acting career on stage and television in the 1950s, but truly came into the spotlight in the 1970s. Her role in The Exorcist, 1973, earned her an Oscar nomination for Best Actress. She then won the Oscar for her performance in Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore, 1974, solidifying her status in Hollywood. Throughout her career, Ellen Burstyn has demonstrated her versatility through a range of roles, from horror and psychological dramas to romance. With her natural beauty, graceful presence, and nuanced performances, she has captivated audiences over the decades. Even in her 90s, Ellen Burstyn continues to be active in the arts, appearing in numerous film and television projects. Her journey from a youthful and radiant actress to a symbol of maturity and talent is both admirable and inspiring. Jenna Rollins, a talented and beautiful actress of the 1970s, has had a distinguished film career. Born on June 19, 1930, in Madison, Wisconsin, Rollins began her acting career on stage before transitioning to film. She is renowned for her captivating beauty, deep-set eyes, and natural, emotionally charged acting style. Rollins collaborated extensively with her husband, director John Cassavetes, on several notable films such as a Woman Under the Influence, 1974, and Gloria, 1980. Her role in A Woman Under the Influence earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Rollins is admired not only for her physical beauty but also for her exceptional acting talent and her ability to portray complex characters with emotional depth. Even after her peak years, Rollins continued to appear in films and television shows, maintaining her poise and alert. Jenna Rollins remains a symbol of perseverance and passion in the film industry and continues to inspire many generations of young actors. Candice Bergen, one of the most prominent actresses of the 1970s, impressed not only with her natural beauty but also with her exceptional acting talent. Born on May 9, 1946, in Beverly Hills, California, Bergen is the daughter of renowned comedian Edgar Bergen. She began her career with a debut role in the film, The Group, 1966, but it was her performance in Carnal Knowledge, 1971, that truly made her shine. Throughout the 1970s, Candace Bergen continued to assert herself with a series of diverse roles in films such as The Wind and the Lion and Starting Over, 1979, the latter of which earned her an Oscar nomination. 
Her delicate beauty and refined acting style helped her become a symbol of the era. As she entered middle age, Candace Bergen not only maintained her sophisticated allure but also established herself as a television host and actress. Her role as Murphy Brown in the series of the same name, 1988 to 1998, 2018, earned her five Emmy Awards and two Golden Globes, affirming her strong position in the entertainment industry. Over time, Candace Bergen has proven that true beauty lies not only in appearance but also in the talent and dedication she brings to her craft. Terry Garr, one of the most beautiful actresses of the 1970s, made a lasting impression on audiences with her beauty and talent. Born on December 11, 1944, in Lakewood, Ohio, USA, Garr began her acting career in the 1960s, but it was during the 1970s that she truly shone. Garr gained fame for her role in Mel Brooks's film, Young Frankenstein, 1974, where she showcased her unique humor and charm. She continued to make a mark with roles in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, 1977, and notably in Tootsie, 1982, a film that earned her an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Terry Garr's beauty lies not only in her appearance but also in her intelligence and versatile acting ability. Despite facing challenges with multiple sclerosis diagnosed in 1999, Garr has remained optimistic and positive. Over the decades, from being a young and beautiful actress of the 1970s, Terry Garr has become a symbol of resilience and talent in American cinema. Terry Garr's journey is not only a story of a stunning star but also a testament to strength and perseverance in the face of life's challenges. Nancy Kwan, one of the most iconic beauties and talents of the 1970s, has had an impressive artistic journey from her youth to adulthood. Kwan gained fame for her role as Susie Wong in the film, The World of Susie Wong, 1960. With her smooth, radiant skin, large, expressive eyes, and long, curved eyelashes accentuating her distinctive oriental beauty, this role earned her international recognition and paved the way for a successful career in Hollywood. Nancy Kwan was not only notable for her delicate oriental beauty but also for her outstanding acting talent. Throughout the 1970s, she appeared in several renowned films such as Flower Drum Song, 1961, and The Wrecking Crew, 1968. Her alluring beauty and versatile acting skills made her one of the most beloved actresses of the time, as she entered middle age. Nancy Kwan continued her acting career while also shifting towards film production. She contributed to many successful film projects and earned respect within the industry. With her timeless beauty and impressive career, Nancy Kwan remains an unforgettable symbol of the 1970s. Sophia Loren, one of the most beautiful actresses of the 1970s, is a symbol of allure and talent in the film industry. Born on September 20, 1934, in Rome, Italy, with the birth name Sophia Villani Cyclone, she began her acting career at a very young age. Her beauty is not just physical but also encompasses her unique presence and personality. Loren has a healthy, tan complexion, large, deep brown eyes that sparkle with intelligence and depth long lashes, and full, slightly curved lips, all contributing to a classic and captivating beauty. Sofia has become one of the prominent faces of Italian and international cinema. In the 1970s, Sofia Loren reached the peak of her career with a series of acclaimed films such as Sunflower, 1970, The Voyage, 1974, and A Special Day, 1977. With a perfect blend of classic beauty and refined acting style, she captivated global audiences and won numerous prestigious awards, including an Oscar. 
Over the decades, Lauren has maintained her beauty and grace. Despite being in her 80s, Sophia Loren continues to shine with her elegant demeanor and confidence. She remains active in major events and is respected by both audiences and peers. Sophia Loren is not only a symbol of beauty and talent but also a living testament to the power of persistence and passion in the arts. Claudia Cardinali, born on April 15, 1938, in Tunis, Tunisia, is one of the iconic figures of Italian cinema in the 1960s and 1970s. Entering the entertainment industry after winning a beauty contest in 1957, Claudia quickly attracted attention with her captivating beauty and deep-set eyes. The 1960s and 1970s marked the peak of Claudia Cardinali's career. She appeared in several famous films such as Federico Fellini's Eight and a Half, 1963, Lucino Visconti's The Leopard, 1963, and Sergio Leone's Once Upon a Time in the West, 1968. With her striking beauty, thick black hair, and radiant smile, Claudia became an ideal representation of Italian beauty of the time, as she entered the 1980s and beyond, Claudia began transitioning to more mature roles. Although age began to show on her face, she retained her charm and distinctive style. Claudia is not only a silver screen star but also a symbol of resilience and timeless beauty. Today, in her 80s, Claudia Cardinale continues to be involved in film projects and charitable activities. She is a living testament that true beauty lies not only in appearance but also in the spirit and a proud career. Joyce DeWitt was one of the standout actresses of the 1970s, famous for her role as Janet Wood on the sitcom Three's Company. Born on April 23, 1949, in Wheeling, West Virginia, USA, Joyce displayed her acting talent at a young age. She attended Ball State University before earning a master's degree in theater arts from the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, with her role as Janet Wood. Joyce left a lasting impression on audiences with her sweet beauty and charming personality. She, along with her co-stars John Ritter and Suzanne Somers, formed a comedic trio that brought laughter and joy to millions of viewers. After Three's Company ended in 1984, Joyce DeWitt participated less in film and television projects, instead dedicating more time to charitable activities and theater. Over time, Joyce transformed and matured, becoming a gracefully beautiful woman with poise and sophistication. Although she no longer frequently acts, Joyce DeWitt is always remembered as an icon of the 1970s, with a beauty that doesn't fade over time and an impressive acting career. Susan Anton is an American actress, singer, and model, born on October 12, 1950, in Oak Glen, California. In the 1970s, she gained prominence for her alluring beauty and diverse talents, earning widespread admiration. Anton began her career as a model and quickly transitioned into acting, making a mark in both films and television shows. She is well known for her roles in the film, Golden Girl, 1979, and the television series, Baywatch. 1989 to 2001. In addition to acting, Anton enjoyed a successful music career with hits like Killin' Time and the album One Night. Over the years, Susan Anton's beauty has naturally evolved, but she has maintained her grace and charm. As she entered her senior years, she may have experienced natural signs of aging, such as wrinkles and changes in skin texture. However, her self-care and healthy lifestyle have helped her retain a youthful appearance and good health. She continues to stand out with her refined fashion sense and confident presence, embodying elegance and sophistication in every gesture. Anton remains active in charitable activities and entertainment projects, 
demonstrating that true beauty lies not just in appearance but also in spirit and dedication. Did you used to be a fan of Susan Anton just like me? If you agree, hit the number one in the comments. Thanks for watching Hollywood Inside 1960s. If you were shocked by these celebrity transformations, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends and let us know in the comments which star surprised you the most. For more eye-opening stories about Hollywood's biggest names, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. We've got more amazing content coming your way.